Thank you. First uh, U.S. World Team, senior level. It's pretty really good, you know. Um, he's a great opponent. Um, he's got some serious, serious length and athleticism. So, you know, having to go out there and, and compete with someone like him, you know, his caliber is pretty, pretty fun for me. So, you know, I get to challenge myself, and hopefully, he'll. Uh, He'll help me get ready for World Championships. Let's talk about that first match, it looked like a critical point. I mean, you were on your butt, and you shot in on double. And somehow you got your legs out from underneath you. Yeah. Talk about that. I mean, that was critical, right? And Those talk about are, how it happened. Yeah, that was, a, that was kind of a turning point in the match. Uh, it takes a lot of energy to, to fight off a front head pitch like that. Um, but give him credit, he did a great job. Uh, he had a great, great game plan going out. Uh, he caught me flat footed that second match. Um, you know, I was just getting a little bit lazy. And that, that's, that's really the biggest problem with me is sometimes I roll myself to sleep. Um, I just need to keep my feet moving and rest the whole time and I'll be fine. Now, what was the difference? From my perspective, it looked like you were a little bit stronger. Yeah, you know, it's, it makes a big difference five years, especially at, at this level. Um, you know, I, I felt it for a long time wrestling older guys. And, um, you know, it's a little bit different. You get your man strength and, um, you know, it's... Was good match. Are you happy to have a guy like a young guy to push you that can be so offensive before you get to the world championship? Yeah, that's that's really important. You know, uh, I had to I had to really prepare for this one. Um, he's no slouch. He's like I said, he's a great competitor. He's gonna he's gonna do great. The next however long he decides to compete. Um, but you know, it feels good to get away. You know, that, that was critical. He did a really good job just staying on his back. Um, you know, I kind of got to force, force him back to his belly. Um, you know, it's overseas. They get those calls all the time. You know, they don't, they're a little more lenient. But here, they're very strict on how many turns you get for that position. So, um, you know, I'm going to keep working on it, keep working on my top game. You know, that was, that was something I've been working on. Uh, actually got from training with David Taylor. He does that hook bar on a lot. Logan Steber too. So um, I'm happy to get on team with Logan. Uh, hopefully Dave and Dave can get done. You got a really nice reception here. Did you expect that? You know, I'm, I'm only three hours away from home. So, uh, you know, probably a tenth of the people out there are my fans. <laughs> uh, literally my family drove down, you know, from everywhere to come see me. So, you know, having them is, is huge, you know, having, having that support. But, uh, you know, I really appreciate the, the Penn State fans and really it's the U.S. fans. You know, they want to see Team USA go out and, and win another world championship as a team. And, you know, I think I'm a critical component to that. And, uh, you know, I, I got to keep getting better and I got to keep scoring points and, and put matches away early rather than let people hang around. You know, it's pretty awesome, you know, how many medals do we have returning, five or six, you know, and uh, 